Can science vessel defeat Amon's hybrid? Let's play some scientific ball. I mean vessel. We're going to choose the search sample upgrade. That will give us the special card right here. And at this round, we just buy some cards, sell it, and then buy another one. So the ghost round, the ghost will uh, snipe all of your bio units really quickly. You need some mechanical units to deal with them. Oh, that was close. We're going to pick the reduced upgrade cost. We're going to buy and sell the Caradalis so we can have two of them. This card gives us extra and we can sell both of them and get another diamond back. Right, it seems like we have enough to go through this round. Congratulations! You're my first patient! Oh, that's ever. crazy. Okay, let's level up. <gasps> Medic! Upgrade. We should be fine, so let's keep leveling up. Oh, we don't have enough anti-air. I see. Well, we cannot level up this round because the cost will be 10, we only have 9. So let's get some cards. Uh, this projection supplement is very useful because it gives you extra cards based on how many faction was on the board. Uh, I'm only having Terran cards, so I'm gonna get a Zerg and Botos cards. Any card with Cocoon means that uh, you have one extra card to sell. It will also give you one extra unit that way. I only have Molosh and Viper as anti-air, so let's see what happens. Well, we don't have anything to kill those flyers, but looks like we're gonna win by numbers. Okay, good. Oh, Glory of the Dominion, we're gonna pick that. That means we can copy some of the Royal Guards. Any card enters will have a random Royal Guard inside, and whenever we enter and sell it, the Royal Guard is going to get copied. And we don't have to worry about the debuff because those cards will be sold anyway. Okay, we're looking good. So that's basically how to play Science Vessel in Tavern PvE. From here, uh, just pick cards that can interact with enters or selling cards, like Void Gates, uh, Conway Fleet, and any cards that can give you extra resources and any cards that has heroic unit inside will be worth picking up. What I really want to show you in this game is a trick that I just find out. I work with Science Vessel or all the other heroes that can give you special cards. However, I did not find the card I wanted in this match. So at the end of this match, I will demonstrate. Uh, let's jump to the last round. Okay, let's use our free refreshes and get more cards. I really want to find it, but it did not happen. But let's use our final guesses for upgrades. Okay, Void Construct, that's a good card to have. So I'm going to use it as the... Oh, I can buy another card with all of the cards saved save up. I have to sell them. Okay, uh, the Void Dominance, uh, I'm gonna give the Golden Terran card a Void Shade, and that will be it. Well, that was a close one. I guess I waste too much mineral trying to find the car I wanted. So here's another game I played uh, with Mansk, and I picked the one that gives you a special cards. And I fully upgrade that special cards is very important, and you will see. You will need these two cards. This one will turn one of your cards into golden, however it will give you a void expandable upgrade, uh, which will destroy your cards next round. Another card is Tearing Reed, it will return your golden card into normal and gain its card description. 
Well, you don't have to read into it because I'm going to demonstrate. Uh, what it means is this combo is going to copy your special cards. So you enter the first card to turn your special card into golden. But because this special card is fully upgraded, the war expendable upgrade will get squished out. It will not apply to your cards. So no negative effects. And here, as you can see, you use the tearing reach to copy your special card and you will gain its card description. Now, this one doesn't have uh, rapid production because it doesn't have add-ons, but it will give you cards uh, at the beginning of each round. This can also apply to it. Any heroes that give you a special card like Ghost, like Probe, and particularly Science Vessel is powerful because uh, that, that if you copy the Science Vessel card, it will give you extra sample. So every time card enter and sell, you will gain extra unit. It's unfortunate I did not make it happen in this game, uh, but it's particularly useful for Science Vessel. So if you found that useful, please leave me a like, consider subscribe, and I got plenty more videos for those who are new to the channel. Thanks.